Steel Hog is a SNS El Loco coaster at Indiana Beach in Monticello, Indiana. The ride opened in 2008 as the park's first looping roller coaster, and it will soon be joined by another looping coaster, American Dreer Looping, hopefully in 2022. The ride itself is located towards the front entrance of the park, kind of far away from the main boardwalk where most of the other rides are located. The trains for Steel Hog are very unique with a single four seat train with two riders per row and very odd restraints which include both a lap bar and shoulder pads that come down over riders. The lap bar is pretty bare bones but the shoulder pads do kind of rub against your shoulders pretty snugly so they aren't the most comfortable but they're not anything that would ruin the ride. The stats for the ride are fairly impressive with a height of 96 feet speed of 41 miles per hour, two inversions, and a max vertical angle of 111 degrees. Now that we got the stats out of the way, let's get right into the ride experience. The ride begins with a very steep beyond vertical drop of 111 degrees, which launches riders out of their seat for a great ejector moment. The ride after the drop pops into a turnaround before going to a very slow outer bank turn which is surprisingly fun and unnerving with the feeling you're going to fall out of the side of the train. That feeling doesn't stop, however, because of this really long and drawn out dive loop right after, which suspends riders upside down for a couple seconds. After the inversion, the ride pops into another turnaround and finally into a downward barrel roll inversion, very similar to the one at Storm Ch on Storm Chaser at Kentucky Kingdom, but smaller with lots of hang time before going into the final brake run. Steel Hog is a very short ride, but despite short length, the ride delivers a very fun, smooth coaster experience, with its main elements being focused on hang time and some airtime pops mixed in. The drop, while short, is easily a highlight moment for the ride, and is actually the steepest drop I've been on, and you can definitely tell it's beyond vertical with the feeling you are going under yourself. The inversions are also great with the dive loop being my favorite, and it reminds me a lot of Mystery Mind's final inversion, but even more drawn out, which I love. Overall, Steel Hog is a fantastic little ride which fits in a very tight footprint, and it is perfect for a small, family-owned park like Indiana Beach, and I really do wish more parks would buy them in the US, because there's only two currently, the other being in Las Vegas. It's solidly in my top 20 coasters just below Cornball Express at the same park, and you definitely need to check it out if you're planning a visit to Indiana Beach. Be sure to subscribe for more content, and be on the lookout for more coaster reviews and other theme park videos in the near future.